Hello, my name's Pete, that's my buddy Ed, and today we're playing Alan Wake 2. Let's get into it. Let's make sure things are working here. And yes, you'll notice, I play with a gamepad. Excuse me for all the PC purists out there. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's start a new game. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> and there's going to be some talking and exposition. Let's get through that. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Yep. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. Oh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> There's a reason why I picked this game for my first full series. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. A trap by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. Hmm. And monsters wear many faces. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth, Alan? Wouldn't be a good horror story if there wasn't some nudity. Not the kind of nudity I'm sure a lot of people were hoping for, but you got some nudity. <clears throat> Alright. We are a naked fat guy in the woods at night. Yeah, I picked this game uh, primarily because it was my favorite survival horror game last year, so 2023. Grace, can you hear me? Already gone. I'm just so impressed with everything that Remedy did with this. It's visually impressive. It plays wonderful. Yes, I've played this numerous times before. I'm going back through it just because I absolutely love this game. I cannot get enough of it. Uh, I'm going to try to go through it uh, spoiler free though. Um, I'm not going to be like, oh, well, this is because blah, blah, blah. I'm not one of those folks who needs to give a whole lot of exposition on the lore. I find it's a lot more fun. Jeez. I find it's a lot more fun to go through these things every single time as though it's a fresh experience. Yeah, you really only get to experience it for the first time, the first time, but it's like reading a good book, right? You know? Golly, just everything. Visuals, sound design. This game really just nailed it all. All right, hairy, fat, bald dude, let's run. 
That was me. That wasn't Ed. Oh. Oh. Well. <laughs> well. Okay, I get it. I need to sprint. Sprinting, sprinting. And... So far, so good. I mean, other than being in a storm in the middle of the woods, naked. <laughs> ah, great. Hello? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. Peace out, guys. Oh, well, okay. Ah, look, you just came out of nowhere. Wonderful. Wonderful. We got a trophy. That's it. That was Alan Wake 2. Roll credits. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That'd be really funny, though. Random dude in the woods and you die like five seconds into the game. And that's the game. <laughs> God, sound design is just out of this world. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? Mm. This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. What <laughs> happened? <laughs> Just work stuff. Right. It's good to have oh, your kid be understanding. The latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. Well. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. Uh, you the DLC hi, dropped recently for this so game. Uh, Logan. I'm gonna do a series, probably a uh, chapter Bye, per video. Um, and uh, once those are all done, then I'll I'll do three more videos, one for each one of the DLCs. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. Ah, yes, and coffee. Coffee is important. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing. Oh, Petri. Cheer anyone up. Brother. Amazing with the music. Amazing with the music. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. Yeah, it's just so beautiful. A 
deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. Well, I guess he's not doing There's his job. There's the car. So where's the deputy? <laughs> mm. Eaten by a bear? We can I'll only check help. out that map. All right. Welcome to chapter one. Invitation. Uh, worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. Having, and I know I shouldn't say this, but having Max Payne back. I should take a look at that map. Oh, so nice. I know, Alex Casey, but yeah, we, we know. Look at him. Look at him. Anyways. Oh. So this is the first time I'm playing it on PC. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. Okay. Hey, over here. Okay. I'll figure out the map later. All right. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Cauldron Lake Rental Cabin. Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. It looks like You're it's still fenced half, off. Right? Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Damn gonna show up, oh, oh, Mulligan. Federal agents right here, Thornton. You too, Thornton. Jeez. My partner, Thornton. <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Okay, Mulligan. You don't sound like the sharpest axe in the shed, you shelf. All right, let's see. I what can, can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. Jesus, Thornton. <laughs> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. <laughs> Classy work there, bro. <laughs> Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Who knows? <laughs> Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. All right, well, let's get a look at that body. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake around the old convenience store you can't miss it everything's been closed since the area was fenced off the store the campground all of it Mulligan, tell them i'm here waiting i'll show them around they got it thornton <laughs> <laughs> well here we go Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Case board. Aha. The mind place. The mind place. My version of the mind palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mind place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. All right. Everything we know about the previous murders. Mm -hmm. Worth taking another look. Is it though? The case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. Okay, vamos a ver. I shouldn't do that. My wife's gonna kill me for using a bad accent. Or not. Uh, 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 zoomy, zoomy. Cursor, cursor. I'm free. You are now free to navigate the case board or leave by pressing B. I'm sure on keyboard it's something else. Everybody's going to be up in arms in the comments being like, Nathan, you don't play on the keyboard. Mer. I can't play on the keyboard, guys. I grew up in the 80s playing Nintendo with two buttons, B and A. Okay? That's what, that's what I'm used to. Deal. 
I'm going to leave. I, I don't need to see all this. Like, I'm not going to go through all this. It's just too much. Previous murders, lots of people dead. I'm in town to... Okay. Good. Cool. Bye. What else we got in here? Uh, we got a chunk of the map. Oh, look at that. So we're on the bony-legged path near the rental cabins by the parking lot. And we're going to uh, the general store where we will find the murder site. Okay. Um, I don't see anything else to do here. Hello, Mr. Deer. Hey, Max Payne washing dishes. And I'm assuming that's the daughter. <laughs> I'm pretending like I haven't played this game before. <laughs> Not really. Just this. whatever the Northlight engine does. And whatever Remedy does with the Northlight engine, it's just like I it's, see you're it's already beautiful. hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Visiting the mine place does not Walking pause the game. Nature. <laughs> gives me a headache. <gasps> Language. Sigh. Hey, dude. It's healthy for you. Being outdoors is very healthy for you. Don't even play. All right, let's go. Moving right along through the woods. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm -hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Something else I'm not really going to aim for is completionism. Uh, I'm just going through the story. I like playing these games like it's a TV show or a movie. Well, in this case, it'd be more like a TV show. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Yeah, you are old, uh, man. Uh, I'm really grateful that we got James McCaffrey back and Sam Lake as the model. It just, it really feels like having Max Payne back properly, which I know they're remaking it or whatever. That's cool. Looking forward to those. We'll play them on the channel, but mm, this, this, this is amazing. And if there ever is an Alan Wake 3, oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, how are you going to bring Alex Casey back? Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. I was just thinking getting that. Getting back to nature is your thing. Mm, yeah. Again, healthy. Casey, healthy. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that I hate nature, like but I love home. the rain. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Huh. That Thornton. Good Lord, Thornton. How oh, Thornton? Local bumpkin cop. Hi. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me at your <laughs> service. That's me Ready at your service. Case solved. Are the bodies behind the store. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you. Oh, go oh, gosh golly, let's go right behind the store and see the dead body. Wow. So, the FBI, huh? Yep, federal booty That's inspector, so cool. bro. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. Oh, yeah, all the time. The UFO cover up. <gasps> Don't but tell him about that. Those are real? You guys hiring? <laughs> He's joking. Let's just see this body. Shall we? Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. 
Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Well... Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You unlocked your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mine place. Let's go there now. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Coffee break. Placing a key image on the case board begins a new line of investigation. Another body has been found in the woods near Bright Falls. Perfect timing. We need to see if this is linked to the killings we're here to investigate. You think? When a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. <laughs> like, why am I reading everything like this? Objectives are viewable at the case board in your goals. Goals? Let's go to goals now. <laughs> Investigate the crime scene. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. You can collect clues from the body to progress the investigation. Let's collect this Inside clue. stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Fun times. But the heart's right the here. The killer left the heart right next to the body. <gasps> Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Yeah, I thought that was kind of, you know, they're underneath the table ratcheting him. You know, stick him to the table. Okay, let's go with the case board again. Uh, lots of stuff. Bruising indicates victim was alive when restrained. Matches other cases. So again, do you think it's connected? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's connected. The heart was removed, but then left on the table near the body. Was this murder interrupted? Yes. Major chest trauma, do you think? <laughs> I went that I went those backwards. <laughs> Whoops. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. Mm -hmm. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. <laughs> this makes four murders that we know about. The clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. Dope. All right, you can check the updated goals by pressing goals. Learn more about the victim, learn more about the killer. Cool. Cool. Who is our right. victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. Heavy blood splatter on the, the table. The victim died here. I think? Okay. Uh, oh, look at the footsteps. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? <gasps> Looks like they were having themselves a good old tailgate here. Oh. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Well, you know, you gotta Was film it. For it. A camera? If it's there if it's not on camera, it never happened, right? <laughs> Someone was drinking beer. No. They spent time here. Oh my god. Waiting. Waiting. Watching. Filming. <laughs> Alright, Home Slice. Let's chat. Have you identified the victim? Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. Oh my His god. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. <laughs> he came to town about 13 years ago. I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale. Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's chat, Casey. You knew him? You knew him? What does he say? So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state but yeah I ran into him a few times at Quantico never worked any cases together 
After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Mm. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Icons on the bottom left corner indicate the critical content is available in the mine place. Let's keep chatting real quick. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. <laughs> he got some wild ideas in his head. Chased Anger ghosts until hate. he fell off the map. I guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Nope, never. So he's been missing since 2010. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. What happened in 2010? The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. <laughs> Probably something this town wants to forget. Well... I think that's everything. For now, at least. Mm-hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. Hmm. You know what? Let's do some more deducing in the mind place. Case board. What we got here? Nightingale went off the deep end. Boop. I trust Casey's read on people. Sounds like our victim wasn't mentally stable. All right. Robert Nightingale, mm -hmm. ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Yes. Right. Killers. Multiple sets of footprints. Lots of activity here. It's unlikely our killer was working alone. Heavy blood splatter on the table. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Yes. Quite the party. Well, premeditated or spontaneous. I mean, staking out this spot, having a cold one while they waited for our victim. Yes. Yes. Premeditated. Very premeditated. Tripod found near body. Again, the filming, if it's not on camera, they never happened. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. Yeah. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Okay. Where did he come from? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Yep, let's do it. This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst, Mom. That's that's great. Okay. Using her intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. All right, let's profile Nightingale. Let's see what's going on here. Missing person. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. And Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Oh. A vessel. He came from Cauldron Lake. I can feel that Nightingale came from the lake. But why now, after 13 years, where's he been? The lake. You just said that. 
The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, hmm. let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just uh, I'll just wait here. <laughs> You do that, Mr. Boy. You just, just hang out right here and just stare at that dead body. Give you some good nightmares for the rest of your life. Yeah. Wonderful. All right, let's go. This is one of your hunches, Anderson. Mm. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. Yeah. It is kind of creepy, though. Like, for real, bro. What are you doing? Like, hanging out in your room all day playing video games? Anyways, uh, looks like there's a clue here. Tracks. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They're coming this they way. They come out from under the boulder. That's weird. Makes no sense. But that's what it is. Sense or no sense. See, look, if I was in real life and I saw, like, a piece of paper doing that, that would worry me. There's a piece of paper on the ground. But she's just like, it's just a piece of paper on the ground. Let me just pick it up. <sighs> okay. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Mm -hmm. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Excuse my reading, phone. Reading the words. words. These, These words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept, even, even if they, they knew, knew it would end up hurting them? them. Hmm. Someone's been watching us. Playing sick do, game do. with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Manuscript. Pages I should profile can Nightingale about this page. Is my place. Oh, jeez. What's up, Grandma? I haven't seen you in a minute. A witch with no heart. A strange echo of Al murder. Hmm. The witch's ladle. There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape. Oh. There's no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape. And yet, there are many mysterious stories about the lake. It being a gloomy doorway to the underworld, or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local f sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named the Witch's Ladle. Uh, the woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. 
With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. Or so the legend goes. Creepy. If you are stuck or unsure how to proceed, don't forget to check the mine place. Why not? Let's check the mine place. I'm profiling. Oh, look, we got some stuff going on here. Yeah. What do we got? A page. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. <clears throat> what is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Hmm. Inside. Hmm. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. <laughs> in his chest. Oh. I must find out what. You must go back to the body and dig it out. Manuscript pages. Leading them on an invitation. How could they not accept the sheer audacity of this impossible mastery presented to them? M mastery. Impossible mystery presented to them. Way to go, Pete. Reading A+. Plus. No narration. There, there's a narration. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know that. <laughs> See, and I've played this game. I did not know that. All right. Uh, back to the body. Oh, whoops. Really got to give it to Remedy. Golly, it's just everywhere. Like, you literally can turn in any direction, and it looks like a piece of art. Like a painting. It's amazing. Art direction, top notch. Story writing, top notch. Like, yeah, that's yeah, just... I'm usually much more on the side of spoopy demons, ghosts, you know, you name it. This is much more psychological, mental thriller, whatever. But it's still very, like, survival horror. There's still a somewhat supernatural element to it, which is really awesome. Um, yeah. Eventually, I'll, I'll play Alan Wake 1 here on the channel. Um, that's another one that I want to save for, for posterity. Oh, Thornton. Big puddles. Oh, Lord, Crazy. Thornton. You mean a big puddle like a lake? Just like I said. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just like you said. All right. Let's go dig around in the dude. Wait. No? Do I need to talk to one of y'all? Hello? Hello? No. No talking. Uh, okay, so maybe I missed something. Case board. Oh, yeah, I did miss something. Uh, we, uh, the he walked through a boulder. That doesn't make sense. Uh, no. I think no. he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. I think they make more sense than you know. Nightingale has something hidden inside of him. There's more going on here than I'm seeing. I need to examine this body properly. Back in town. What does that say? Found all I can here. Oh. Time to properly examine the body. Yeah. See what I can find inside. Cool. Learned all I can here. I need to get the body back to town for examination. Reading the words, these words, felt like a message. Someone playing a game with them. Hmm. All right. Cool. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that when one of the deputies is right there. Deputy. I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, <sighs> ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deer Fest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Deer Diner in town. Beautiful. Oh, and I've got a key. <gasps> oh, my gosh. To you the just gate. got it there. You got everything. The parking lot okay, the Thornton. Hill. Thank you, Thornton. We, re we greatly appreciate all of your assistance today. Give me that. Give me that key. Shortcut key. That's right. Give me that key. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Let's get the car. Drive to Dude, Casey. And talk to like, these witnesses. Wait. The bookers. 
at the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut Heck the deputy yeah. mentioned. Sounds good. Shortcut key. See, and I, I greatly, greatly appreciate game, modern survival horror games. You pick up a key, pick up an item, and then you just use it where you need to. And you have to go into a menu, and you have to select the item, and then use, examine, da, 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 just, just, da, da, da. Yeah, just use it when you're at the object that needs to be used on. I love that. Yeah, okay, you got the menu. You can go examine it when you want. See, you got the menu. You can examine it when you want, but... Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside, pretty woods. What is that? Cute lodge oh, we got set up in. Oh, increases maximum health. I'll take that right we from the We should go vehicle. for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. <laughs> Something else I do. This is just me when I play these games. I really like... I don't know. Like... Taking it easy with the camera when I can. There's a lot of... I see a lot of other other people who play games online. They're just wildly swinging the camera around. You can't ever see anything. And they're just... Ah, I like framing my picture. I like seeing what I can see. I don't like rushing. I like taking my time. Yeah, there's going to be moments where I'm panicked and I'm acting crazy. But if I can, I'm going to slow pan cameras. I'm going to try to, like, soak it all in, you know? Enjoy the fact the that we get games yet. like this. Heart removed. Tripod. Tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod? For a camera? To record a, a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Yeah. I'm just thinking ahead to some of the games I want to play on this channel after this one. I know that these videos aren't going to be watched by a whole lot of people, and that's fine. But I think it's going to be kind of cool as I grow this channel that these, especially this series, especially this series is going to be the lore dump series like looking back on this there's probably some things i'm going to share especially during this game that uh, they'll come into play later that's all i'm going to say for now shortcut key let's use it yay all right moving along <laughs> it is a hiking path. This way. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, this is the overlook. Jump down. I could have gone the other way, but I, of course, got to make everything difficult on myself. God, look at that. It's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Bright Falls. Let's roll. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but... I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. So where Silent Hill got everybody stuck on that, where if you have a small town, you got to have the welcome to XYZ small town. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? Honestly, though, Bright Falls is like, I'll there anyway. it's up there on the level the with like a Silent Hill a in town. creepy small towns that got tons of lore behind them. And I love it. I'm here for it. I want to move to one of these towns. If I could find a haunted house in a town like this, oh, just everything the solved. Just up the waterfront. Life solved. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. 
Okay. I smell coffee. <gasps> Is it the people wearing the big coffee costumes? Man. Oh, remedy cooked. They yeah. chefed. Cooking isn't even like the term anymore. It's they chefed. They chefed hard. Don't know. Don't care. You good, dude? How much have you had? Not enough. That's how much. Crack? Is that what? Is it, are you on some crack? Uh, 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 dude. Go, oh, my God. Get it now. Jesus, Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. You good? Calmate, Charlie. Man, it is working hard or hardly working. Looks like that's where we're headed. Oh, dear diner. Oh, dear. Oh, my. I wish I could do that Let as good guess. as George Takei. I can't. Welcome to Bright Falls. Hey, it's Sean Ashmore. It's nice to have you here. What's up, bro? I got you both some coffee. Oh, uh, it's Washington's finest. Yeah, but it is. Uh, you must be Sheriff Breaker. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. Coffee time. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. I was told there were witnesses. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? I'm curious. Sure. What is it? But it's slowed down ever since Cauldron Lake was fenced off. Then I mean, Cauldron yes. Lake's the problem. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. 2010. Yep. The fence was built just after. Oh dear. Yeah. That's exactly right. Oh dear. Oh dear diner. Love it. Let's go. Let's check it out. I can't believe that. Dude, that is that a moose? That's a moose. I still feel like That's awesome. Sick. On it. Have some pie. It'll take your mind off things. You guys, the bookers? Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Oh, oh Tammy. Saga is fine, Ed. Oh, Tammy. So, are we being charged? Oh, there's today? some Tammy is lore. Not, we'd love not to this get Tammy, hotel and but there is some Tammy lore. Dig a bad. Screw into pillows, that kind of thing. <laughs> We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about. Oh, man. About, okay? That's awesome. So, why, why were you at Cauldron Lake that night? What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? Yeah. I'm real. a writer. True crime. Okay. We're here from New York, doing some okay. research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing. Yes. I was down My at the boy. lake getting some details. Perfectly legal. Can you tell me what you saw? So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake. <laughs> it was terrifying. He was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. Oh. He must have been on something. Yeah. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we okay, sarcastic. Shooting. We ran into these cycles in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of Satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. That's horrifying. So, why do you think it was a cult? What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They, they were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, oh bro. And we found it. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. That's all. I think you're lying. I'm gonna profile you. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. 
The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Uh. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The Booker's check it. Cauldron Lake. Why? Once was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Your book has questions. Has the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a murder. Illegal trespassing. They were telling the truth. Yeah, but they were still trespassing. Taken to jail. Not really. No trespassing in Cauldron Lake or weird spooky stuff happens to you. Okay, I think we're good here. I think you found something. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Well, there goes your cover. Your publisher's not going to be happy. Keep that thing, Timmy. Yeah, Timmy. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. Oh, my God. What's up, Rose? I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby. Good girl. Lord, let me just remind you of the terrible traumas you have been through. You? I'm sorry. Who are you? That's the correct answer. Who I are you? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's me, silly. Oh. Rose. You know me. No, I don't. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing <laughs> happened to my baby girl? Yeah, what are you threatening my kid? She <laughs> drowned. Your daughter. Oh, Lord. That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. Yes, because TV is reality. You're That's why they have for else. reality TV. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If you say so. Rose is like, she crazy, even though Rose is crazy. <laughs> Rose is real crazy. Uh, let's see. Uh, Hello. Let's go peek around the diner real quick. Actually, hold on. Let's go to the mine place first. Let's check the case board. Go to cases. Previous murders. Murder. The bookers describe multiple attackers wearing deer masks, chanting and tearing into the guy with knives. Um. Yeah. There we go. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. Mm -hmm. This case just became much more complicated. <sighs> I need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. <laughs> I don't know if that's something you should be excited about, girl. Honestly. Come on. Like, for real, for real. All right, background cases accumulate clues about broader ongoing topics. Okay. Cool. Cult I need to know more three. about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. All right. We need to learn more? Looks like we got some more. All right. All right. Uh, cult goal. What kind of cult? Who's involved? Uh, there. Cult symbols. Yeah. Jewelry can be used as a subtle indicator of membership. But this isn't subtle. Is it a badge of pride? Hmm. Cultists are wearing deer masks. <clears throat> Cult psychology. Let's go. If they're hiding their faces, they aren't established enough to operate openly. Connection to Deerfest? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? It's Bright Falls. Everything's weird around here. Uh, okay. Let's check out. Because if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that's dark.
Oh, hello, friend. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Ah. Uh, you know, there's that, uh, there's that, uh, Twitter, excuse me, X account that does, uh, can you pet the dog? Love those folks, by the way. Y'all are awesome. Um, yeah, that, you can pet the deer in Alan Wake, too. The problem is that they're not alive. They're, they're dead. They're trophies. She's sweet, though. She feels for them. Saga Anderson feels for these poor things. And, yeah, I do, too. I get that, you know, sometimes deer are an invasive species. It happens. But. Oh, map. Oh, map. I can't see anything. I can't see anything on my screen. I can see it on the recording, but I cannot see it on my screen. Well, I'm glad there's an icon, because if not, I wouldn't have seen that. <laughs> Uh, that's gonna be I locked. Need something to force this open. Yeah, not the cult necklace, obviously. Um, el baño. Si. Sí. Nada. Okay, and employees only. We won't be visiting that until much later with Rose. That'll be great. That'll be fun. Looking forward to that. Spoiler alert. That's from the DLC, so not really a spoiler. All right, Alex, what's all going on? Yeah, my I'm guys have Nightingale at the morgue. If you're ready to go, take a look. Sure. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. <gasps> Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. A murder cult. Have you heard of this <sighs> cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something. Grand we? Wizard. <laughs> Love it. Back in the day. That's great. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Oh Looks my like God, Sheriff. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yes, Ted. Yeah, real Horse important Ted. guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. <laughs> No, see, okay, look, I, I gotta take a moment for this. Small town beauty, all right? Like, I know Pacific Northwest, whatever, but what I find the best about this is that I used to live in a small town in Colorado uh, called Castle Rock, and the vibe is very similar to this with the hills and, oh, uh, just love it. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? Rose? Oh yeah, Rose. Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. You think? You think? Why? What she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible, but it's best not to take a person. Anyways, uh, yeah, a lot of small towns in Colorado that have this vibe, and I I love it. I I would love to live again in Colorado. It's just. Really expensive to live hey, there. Boss. Corpses downstairs ready to go. Yay, corpses. All prepped. I'd like to take Thornton. a closer look as soon as Thornton. Possible. Oh my god, how are you doing, Lead buddy? Way, Sheriff. Oh, Thornton. Oh, whoa, oh, ghost right. sheriff. Falls sheriff station. Yep, yep. Anything you need, just, just uh, let ticket. us know. We appreciate Whenever the support, Sheriff. Hey. Again, the sound design in this game is Immaculate. It is so we just share a so good. At the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Of course you are. I saw some discourse the other day on uh, X, Twitter. Uh, Something about morgues. Talking about the over the shoulder third person same. camera. He's joking. And that it kind of makes these games lifeless. And I th I think I understand where that comes from, and I kind of sort of agree with it, but also kind of don't agree with it because I think it's a lot of your own eye for film, right? For okay. uh, for moving pictures. Let's take a look at our patient. How do you move the camera? That kind of thing. I'll start with the external inspection before oh, Lord. the internal examination. Okay. Naked dead guy. Let's go. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? 
So we got five clues to look for. One, two, three, four, five. The body okay. shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. Hmm. It doesn't add up. Doesn't add up. Let's look at the heart. There's writing on here. Wait, what? Can't make it out. Writing? How yeah, there is writing that? on the heart. We'll look at that last. Um, let's check for the... Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. Ah, his knuckles. Yeah, makes sense. This looks like text. Text? A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Hey, he did say that he had his words, whoever him is, we know who him is, his words close to his chest. Well. Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, cases. Um, let's see. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Okay. Anything to learn from the body. Ba boom. First, the chest was ripped open. Something visible inside. Uh, smudged. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, okay. Ritual writing, smudged text under the victim's skin. Bruises, defensive wounds on victim. Okay, so that's more for cause of death. Illegible words on the heart, that's going to go up here. Because there's text. Text is smudged. Tattoos Looks on inverted. body and heart. Heart can't have been marked before removal. Um and yeah, there we go. Bloating of joints indicating he was in There's the water. There's definitely a long time. something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Okay. Um, let's back out. Let's see what we can see. Dig it out. Dig it out. Get it. Oh, yeah. Let's go. No gloves. It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Yeah, just no gloves, straight body juices all over that piece of paper. Nightingale haunted <laughs> saga. So gross. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see in the bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. do when Nightingale comes for you. Didn't see her. Could not see into bright light. Whoa! Hey! 
He can't see me in the light. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from safe haven in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. Okay. Go. Gun. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Well, that's where we're going to leave that one. Uh, thank you for spending time with myself and with my buddy Ed. Uh, I'm sure he'll get more vocal as time goes on, but right now he's just kind of trying to figure things out. He's a little, a little nervous about, you know, being on camera for the first time. But anyways, um, I think we're going to call that here. So thank you guys so much. Uh, just hang out and listen to some music for a minute. Which, by the way, music in Alan Wake, beautiful. Uh, I guess some last things I should say uh, before I go. Uh, I am going to do the whole game. Uh, I'm, I'm determined to get this right and to do more series like this um, and to talk about other things other than just playing games I, I really I can't wait to share more I really can't this is going to be an interesting journey there's a lot going on here that nobody knows about yet um, that will come out over time and it's going to be really fun uh, so anybody who joins me from, from this video onwards grateful for you um Looking forward to getting to know you better. Looking forward to just going on this journey with you. I think it's going to be good. All right. Well, I think we're going to end that one here. Uh, bye.